here's all the pieces we'll need and basically how they go together this is a short piece that's been cut it'll go right in here another short piece has been cut it'll go right here and their barrel go on here this is a three quarter this is a three quarter to one and a half and this of course is a one and a half all the way through now if you can find one that's a little larger here than here that would be good also basically you go roughly like so and just glue it together very simple to keep my ammo from going all the way through up the barrel and into the burn chamber what I'm going to do is put a nail right here and start my hole for the nail and I'll use a drill so now I have my nail in I can put my immediate in I have this nice little bearing it goes down and hits and doesn't fall all the way in best place I can find to put the igniter would be about right here so it goes across otherwise it's going to be too long if it goes straight across of course it's going to stick out however you could put it in the bottom and do a, a slap motion to ignite it that way I think I'm going to put it right here while I was drilling through it did hit the piece right here trying to light up in there so you can see I had to uh, kind of ream that out to get it to work now I can put this in you might want to use some epoxy to hold this in after our epoxy dried we painted it entirely in black even around the trigger a very light coat to cover that red after our paint dried we taped the entire thing in camouflage duct tape the black hides any spot that we missed with the tape 